Action. Is it possible to go to space? Ah, uh, yeah. If you have money, you can pay the Russian guys and they'll kick you up there. <laughs> well, is it possible to go to space from Ghana? Uh, yeah, I think it's possible. It's, it's very possible. Um, it's a balloon. That would be easy. Okay. How is that going to be possible? Okay, um, you fill a balloon with helium or hydrogen. I like hydrogen because it's explosive. <laughs> and it will kill you. Yeah, it will kill you. Kill you with a balloon. But, uh, yeah, back to the point. You fill it with hydrogen or helium. Hydrogen. That's it. And then it just keeps going up and up and up and up and up till it reaches peak. Hopefully, it never stops and it reaches peak. So that happen? Of course not. Definitely not. Yeah. So, uh, I think that's the that. And the balloon is cheaper, you know. You can't really get rockets here. Than the <laughs> no. Well, who are you anyway? Well, he's a nerd. He's a nerd. Okay, that's he's a cyborg. Cyborg. Eh, <laughs> uh, no, you're not left. Okay. I'm Peter um, from KNUSC, as coming from my University of Science and Technology. Very funny piece. Kind of nice. Very cool guys around right there. I met lots of nerds out there. I'm right here. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm a student from coming from my University of Science and Technology. What do you do? First year in computer science. Back to you. Yeah. My name is Samuel Amon I'm an English junior student. Second year uh, at Kenya with him. Uh, we met in high school, the sec Presbyterian Boys Secondary School. Best school. The best school in Ghana. Yeah, so that's where we are. So uh, I'm part of the creativity group at Kenya and I'm the vice president. We're currently here at GTI at the Ghana Fab Lab, working on a couple of projects, of which this project is a part. And here, oh, um, I'm the project manager of Pitch I manage the projects. It's one of the coolest positions you can ever have. Liar. Why? Continue. Okay. Okay. So I can say that I'm the project manager. Um, I manage the projects, and we currently at Ghana Fab Lab. At the Technical Institute. Um, we are doing a couple of projects with them. Um, um, sending a balloon to space happens to one of them. Yeah, so. How far have you gotten to, and when should we expect your space balloon to go to space? Okay, um, we expect to launch tomorrow. Okay, now we're a little bit on the line. There's some issues with clearance, so we'll be launching a little bit later. Uh, later, sorry. But we kind of cool for lunch, even if it's tomorrow. All the best <laughs> in your endeavors. Can we see anything that you have that is, uh, you know, part of your preparations towards this space? Go grab the box. Go grab okay. the box. Um, I plan on putting it in this space. Okay. He doesn't know about it yet, but I will be. So, uh, this is the box. This is what's going to be. And, uh, it's made of styrofoam, light, quite strong, and so this box. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we're sending, um, we're doing a styrofoam box because it's a good instrument. It gets really cold out too, so we're going to protect our equipment from shooting up, especially the camera, because we're taking pictures with it. And um, here's the hole for the camera. Yes, um, maybe I should flip the camera inside the building if you By the way, the camera is in there. Okay, so here's the box, I'll put the camera in there. By the way, it doubles as a very good camera stabilizer. So I can fix it I don't know what I can see in the video for this. So, um, you, could, you could just take the box to make the uh, camera stabilizer. But we send it to space. But the camera right over here, like, I don't know whether I can see quite clearly. And then, yeah. Everything else goes inside will be um, a GPS tracker and all the funny stuff we want to put in. You did not buy a GPS tracker. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to use an Android phone, probably case. Your Android phone. Case being the camera man. And yeah, we just drop it in the name. To send us GPS coordinates, you know. Um, I think it was already right. It said it was yeah, sending yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I had this one last time, so. Using this credit. Okay, so we dropped the GPS. Um, Inside. The phone, yes, the phone, the Android phone, the app inside. And we have the camera, and we strap the balloon to it, and a parachute, and everything goes up. We need a parachute. Though. There's the balloon, and there's the parachute. 
Gloves look like it's, you know, the surgical gloves. Yeah, latex. Yeah, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the that's, that's the part. Yeah, the part. What's the diameter again? Four feet. Yeah, four feet. So nothing goes up. Hopefully it works. Hopefully that happens. We're supposed to see it all. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to see that. So we need a bag. Of all the many things you could have done, why space? Uh, how many people get to go to space? Yeah, it's swag. It's cool. It's cool. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And um, on the more serious note, um, it's also easy. It's quite easy. Because um, at first I used to think you need a rocket to go to space. It turns out you do need it. And it's quite cheap for the price of uh, a sizable amount of Gobe. 160 days of Gobe to be specific. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know about him. I can pass with it. That'd be easy. So, um, with, yeah, 160 plates and you're going to speak to it. It's kind of cool. I so, think it's cool. Yeah, and uh, concerning my inspiration. I, 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 I don't know, at some place I read that uh, you could... When you get, the range of a rocket can be greatly extended if it's launched from a, above the surface of the Earth. So maybe from a plane or from a balloon. And I've been seeing all these pictures about you know, guys launching rockets and uh, balloons to space. Then came the, the Google Luna X Prize, which really motivated me. You know, the amount of money was quite enticing, considering the number of things we have done with it. Yeah, so I thought of how do I get to space, how do I get a rocket to space, and then fine, get a balloon, drop a rocket to it, and get it out. So this could probably be like a test run car and for such a kind of thing. And considering how people see space as some esoteric thing, you know, like people don't really go into it complex, you need lots of money large machines and stuff like that yeah this would serve as a very big motivation for guys like that allowing them to know that you know you too can do it i don't know if anyone in ghana has ever tried it but probably not but if it turns out and it works out hopefully it would be an inspiration to a lot of guys knowing that even they can do it for as we said 160 days of time go by means it's favorite Actually, our food, but he likes it. The official food of KNUSD, by yes, the way. Yes, yes. I'd argue for Ghana and Kumasi too. Yeah. There's two food too. So. Yeah, so main, main thing, motivation. I'd totally love to be there during the lunch, so you guys should make it a point to invite me. You always invite me, considering you're going to be with us. Sure. Whether we invite you or not, you're going to be there. So give me pictures. Lame! Lame! <laughs> you don't have to really do a lunch right now. We can't do it. We are not going to do anything. Lame! 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 L